Hello, one and all, and particularly those of you that are interested in trying to do polychords in Finale. As you may know, Finale doesn't have any native way to do polychord symbols, so we have to sort of come up with sort of a hack to to do it. And I've tried a few different things over the over the years, and uh, recently I discovered the best one so far, which goes like this. So I'm using just a default document here. Um, so, uh, but it would work with uh, any font. So in this default document, there are, is a particular chord library, and I'm opening it up. And if you go down, if if you're uh, if you go down to the bottom where the suffix thing is, what you want to do is create a suffix which is a horizontal line. And so you go down and you say, I've already done one, but if I hadn't said create. And then you go and look for a symbol, and if you look long enough, you'll find a horizontal line. It turns out it's way down at the bottom. It's something like 2,000, so 2343, three, that's a good one. So you grab that, and then, you know, if it's still too small, you can make the font bigger until it's nice and, nice and big, the right size. Save it. And it's got a number. And you can always move it up if you want to have a, a smaller number. Um, so, and that's a little laborious, but once you get it, if you're going to be using it a lot, it's worth it because you're going to be typing its number. And if you, um, if it has a high number, then that's all the more stuff you have to type. One. Okay, so we do that. And, um, and here's what you do. So say you want to create like the one that we have next to it, C over D. You, you're in the chord tool, you type capital C for the lower structure. Then you hit the up arrow. Then you do the shortcut for the chord symbol, but in this case it's just the suffix, colon, and then the number that that suffix is, which is now 1. Then hit the up arrow again and you can see the line appears, and then you put your upper structure and hit return. And the, the beauty of this system is that you can do it in one workflow. You don't have to stop and create something and then move it around. So again, uh, let's do a, uh, how about an altered polychord this time? So we'll do a C. Then I do my shortcut, my, oops, no, sorry, I forgot. Now I hit up arrow. Then I do my colon and then my whatever my number of my suffix is. And then I hit up arrow and this time I'll do an F sharp. And there we go. Polychord.